and absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to hear a bit more from Valerie in a bit. Um, but first, I want to tell you a little bit about how you can get involved in social media. For the walk today, all you have to do, use the hashtag Boston Heart Walk um, when you post to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And if you do that, the post will appear up on the screen so you can kind of see what your work is doing. If you're using Snapchat, you want to check out the Heart Walk filter. Um, and I want to talk about why we are walking today. I um, also want to give you a chance to get involved with some advocacy work if you would like to do so. Uh, sugary drinks, they are the single largest source of calories in the American diet and they do pose a real health risk. We're talking about a risk for diabetes, heart disease, even some forms of cancer and kids especially can drink a lot of these sugary drinks, as we know. So that's why the American Heart Association is working with Massachusetts lawmakers, encouraging them to take steps that would encourage people to maybe choose water or low calorie options over high calorie sugary drinks. So you can help people cut back on those sugary drinks. Um, so here's what the American Association, American Heart Association would like you to do. If you take out your phones, I can see you all using them for pictures anyway, so I know you have them out. Uh, text the word change, that's change, to this number, 46839. You will get a text back when you do that. You click on it, the rest is easy. So you text change to 46839. And while you are doing that, I want to welcome James McGrath to the stage to really thank the people who helped make this amazing walk, this amazing day possible. James is the chairman of the American Heart Association's Boston Board of Directors. So James, come on up. Thanks, Emily, and thank you for your continued commitment to heart. Good morning, Boston Heart Walkers. A special shout out to my crew for coming out today. Thank you. The American, on behalf of the Board of Directors, I want to thank you for your support of this very special event. The American Heart Association depends on the extraordinary generosity to advance our mission to fight heart disease and stroke. I'd like to recognize three groups in particular today for their support for this mission. First, I want to recognize the winner of our Top Hospital Challenge Award, which is sponsored by Lantheus Medical Imaging. The Top Hospital Challenge brings together hundreds of patients, nurses, doctors, and administrators from hospitals in greater Boston in a friendly fundraising competition. And I'm pleased to announce that this year's Top Hospital Challenge Award winner is Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. They recruited 300, 300 runners or walkers and raised $45,000. Thank you. Here to accept the award on behalf of Beth Israel is Dr. Robert Gertson, the Chief of Cardiovascular Medicine, and Dr. Kamal Kabaz, Chief of Cardiac Surgery. I feel like I'm in very good hands right now. Thank you, Beth Israel. Second, I'd like to recognize and thank our leaders with heart. These are executives and leaders in our business community and our communities at large who have gone above.